So let's have a look at, I guess, an example of how we need to start calculating this if the offset account balance changes throughout the account, uh, throughout you know the lifetime of the account, which it often will. Okay, you're going to draw from it or you're going to add more to it, depending on what you're wanting to do. Um, in this case, we're going to completely focus on only adding to it and seeing how we go about those calculations. They can become quite tedious and quite complex. So let's work together through this about how we do it. So essentially what we're doing here is we're starting a normal account and we're just treating it as normal, no offset until three years in. After three years, we're gonna have $5,000 in it, all right? We're gonna maintain that balance for another five years. At that point, we're gonna put another, like we're gonna raise that account to $15,000. So in other words, $10,000 more is being added to it, all right? Um, and then we're gonna maintain through, uh, you know, the minimum monthly repayments right throughout, and that $15,000 balance will be maintained till the end of the loan, okay? So, how do we go about this? Well, the first thing that we need to do is we actually need to calculate what the balance of the loan is going to be at three years, like after three years. So it's three by 12, interest rate was 6.39%. Uh, present value, that was 415,000. We haven't got an offset account, so it is 415,000. PMT, that's approximately negative 2773.65. Uh, future value, uh, that's what we're after. Uh, P, Y, and C, Y are both zero here. So let's get our future value. 6.39 or 15. So we have a future value that's approximately 392,693 dollars and 45 cents approximately. So that's what the outstanding balance was at that time. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to go, well, what's the next step? The next step is uh, we've set up an offset account of $5,000. So essentially the balance that the interest is going to be accruing from is gonna be $5,000 less than this. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go N equals, oh, how long is this being maintained for? For another five years. So we're actually needing to know the future value after five years from this point. So we need another five years where our interest was 6.39%. Our present value, like I said, it's this and needs to be positive again. So 392.63.45. Now I always round that up, like I said, just because um, I guess technically you should probably round down there. But I'm gonna keep it at 45 just because um, you've still got to pay it completely off. I'm just in that habit in the minute. Uh, subtract away your five grand. Uh, your PMT we're maintaining, so that's negative 2773.65. The future value is what we need at this point. The PY and CY are both going to be 12. Why did I say there was zero here? No clue. <laughs> Absolutely zero clue. Um, so the future value here, the reality is with my rounding, because I'm just reusing this, um, I am actually gonna round it down like I was supposed to. It doesn't really matter because I'm gonna use the exact value in the calculator. I'm just gonna subtract away the 5,000 in the calculator itself. But for the sake of this, Doing it for another five years. So now we get a future value at this point. That's approximately 300 and just making sure I enter everything right. $37,714 and 65 cents. 
So now we've got, then gonna look at what happens next. So we're gonna maintain that $15,000 until the loan's paid off, basically. Um, so effectively until this um, offset account matches how much is outstanding of our um, loan. Okay, so until it gets to $15,000, but for our sake, it's till the future value gets to zero. So we go on to another calculation. So this is N, we're now after how long this is gonna take. So the interest rate is 6.39%. Uh, the present value is now approximately 337,714.65. Now we've gotta reduce it by another $10,000, and this is really important to understand. We're not reducing it by 15,000. The offset changes from 5,000 to 15,000. So we're only reducing it by another 10,000. Uh, the PMT we're maintaining, so that's approximately negative. $2,773.65. Uh, the future value, that's, we're trying to get to zero. The PY and CY are both 12 here. Uh, so, the N is now approximately 186. 0.79 because the PY is in months, this is in months. So remember that that's from that point in time. It's an extra 186,000, um, uh, sorry, an extra 186,000, an extra 186.79 months until we fully repay the remainder of the loan. So I guess the next step is to look at, okay, how do we actually calculate how much interest we've actually saved? So this is where breaking it up into the smaller chunks becomes really, really useful. You can do it as one big long calculation, but you can easily get mixed up or miss things with it. So um, let's start with original interest, which we could just uh, uh, steal from the previous page actually. So the original interest uh, is gonna be approximately, let's just steal it from the previous page, uh, $417.95. So, Four seventeen and ninety five. We know that amount because we did it previously, and you can go back to that page, like into that video, earlier into this video to find that if you wish. How I got it. Uh, so the new interest. Now this is the part that's a little bit tricky. So the new interest. What we've got to look at is first of all how much have we paid the bank. So what we did was we gave them. Um, in terms of total repayments, we did, I'm going to do square brackets here and then little brackets. We did three lots of 12 months of payments. All right. The payments were the same right throughout and that's what's nice here. So we did three lots of 12 months plus another five lots of 12 months of those same repayments plus another... 186.79 months worth of these repayments. And all of this was at the same repayment rate of 277, uh, 277, $2,773.65. Okay, so that's how much we paid the bank in the regular monthly repayments. Now, this is the part that I said we need to be careful of again we still had $15,000 owing at that point in time, at this point in time. It's just that the balance of the account, of the loan, matched the balance of the offset account. We've still got to pay that $15,000 back somehow, so we're going to assume that we've given that $15,000 straight back. So we've got to add another $15,000 because we still owe that to the bank. All right. But then we've got to subtract off, after we do all that, the loan amount. So $415,000. And that will give us what the new interest is approximately equal to. So let's now put that into our calculator. So I told you it starts to become a little bit more complex. The square brackets um, are probably not needed still. 
but I like to just do this, like I said, when things become more complicated. Um, the inside brackets, these circular brackets definitely are needed here um, because you need all of these months to add first. Due to bed mass reasons. Good old bed mass. So we get the new interest is 384,360 dollars and48 cents. So now to get the interest saved, it's the difference. So interest saved. It's going to be approximately $417,095 minus this amount. So 384.360.48. So therefore, our interest saved. You can suddenly see why I like breaking it up into smaller chunks to keep consistency because things can become quite complex. So we end up with a saving of $32,734.52. So I guess to summarize, this is how we can go about making calculations when the offset account is changing. Something that people frequently forget about is they still need to pay off the remaining debt at the end. Um, so they forget to add this to how much you still have to give the bank at that point um, in that calculation. So then that obviously miscues how much interest you're effectively saving um, by using the offset account. But like I said, offset accounts are really handy because they're like a savings account. You can access that money at any stage. Um, you can add more money to it at any stage. If you add money to it, you're gonna save more interest. If you take money off of it, then you're obviously going to um, lose interest, um, you know, pay more interest, I should say, on the loan itself. So that's just something to be aware of. But they are certainly very handy things that you can have um, set up with your account. Now, it's very important that not all accounts will allow an offset account to be established. So you want to probably decide whether or not you want to utilize an offset account um, before taking out the loan to begin with.